Mulan is Disney's Golden Age masterpiece. The Lion King may get more attention, and The Little Mermaid may be more recognizable, but Mulan stands out as perfect. What am I even supposed to say? I finally understand why this film is the Disney film that I watched more than any other when I was a child. Every lesson it teaches flawlessly integrated into one complete story. Its musical numbers are more perfectly used than any Disney film I've ever seen. Its art is beautiful and expressive, and Mushu, the animal mascot, is actually an entire character beyond being a funny animal. And that's even worked into the rest of the story! This is a story about how a misfit can fit into an uncaring and cold society, not by hammering one's personality down, but by being themselves. Mulan is a woman in ancient China where she is expected to be faithful, well-mannered, and without fault. And that's just not her. She's smart, she speaks out, she's clumsy. She questions why she can't fit into the picture that everyone expects to see, why she can't go and just do what she cares about. Quite a few people may take this as a feminist lesson and... Okay? You do you, but to me, this is a universal human message. Everyone has their own issues, and society as a whole has many expectations. For whatever reason, cultures across the globe don't look kindly onto anyone who's different, who stands out. Countries in Asia especially, but even individualistic countries like the United States have this issue. Lessons on how you should be, how you should act, and who you should look up to are repeated again and again and again to ensure that you're a good little cultural sponge. But humans can't be that way. We are individuals. We each have values that we wish to protect, and if we can build up the courage to act, then we can stand up for them, even on pain of death. Some hide behind a mask, like Mulan, pretending to be something or someone else, just so they don't stir up trouble. But that can't work out in the end, because like Mulan, if you feel the need to act, you're going to act, which will reveal you sooner or later. And some loudly act against society, which isn't necessarily great either. At best, you're ignored because society has made up its mind and it's not going to listen. At worst, you're killed, imprisoned, or abandoned, and you lose what little ground you had to begin with. Rather, what this movie says is to not worry and be yourself. It's not what holds Mulan back that decides her journey in the end. What decides it is the best of herself, her strategic mind, her athleticism, her willingness to do what needed to be done, even if it would cost her everything. That's what made Mulan the hero of China. She took a path that wasn't easy, but was the right one, and in doing so, prevented the death of the Emperor. Even if society abhors an individual, that one can still make a difference. Not because of sheer numbers, but because each individual has something to contribute, even the ones we might look down on. This lesson applies to basically everyone in Mulan's little menagerie. Mushu, the cricket, maybe not the horse. But what about the villain, Shan Yu? A good villain is the antithesis of the hero, and Shan Yu on first glance doesn't seem like that, but let's go over him. He's smart, he's strong and athletic, and he sees things others don't. He also sees disrespect at every turn, and is willing to do what he has to in order to show his strength. In this case, he's actually rather like Mulan, but there is a difference. You can see it in his goal. It isn't to kill the Emperor, who in this case represents Chinese society, it's to show that he's above the Emperor, and anyone else who disrespects him. That is why he ordered the Emperor to bow before him. Not because he was on a power trip, but because he needed to put himself over the one that he thought showed him so much disrespect. O okay, and maybe also because he was on a power trip, but is that so much different from some people in society today? We get quite a few different movements and groups every decade that say they've had enough with the disrespect, and that they deserve better, and that is good. Again, everyone has something they value, and it is a good thing to try and have them acknowledge. It's even good to try to do something about it. But when you A, make out everything that society does to be a personal insult, and B, respond with violence or ill intent, you've become something much worse than a foolish society. There are few good reasons to act so maliciously in order to make your point, especially when innocents get caught in the crossfire. Causing pain to others, no matter how much they hurt you, insulted you, belittled you, or pushed you down, is not one of those reasons. That's why Shan Yu is the villain. 
We're all here together, and we're all a little bit different. Instead of trying to force society to respect and make a place for us, let's try to show how we, with our individual strengths, can make things better for everyone, and fit into society in ways that no one even knew we could. I mean, if Mulan wasn't there being the best Mulan she could be, China might have collapsed or gone into anarchy. One person can make a difference, so let's try to be that one person. Those are my thoughts on Mulan, and I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter. Please put them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. And above all, have a good day.